Actually, how long? Uh, we are at... God, I can't find it. 13.6. So this is actually layer 12. So, yeah, diamonds diamonds galore. Well, not really. we got to find them still, but... Maybe we'll run upon some diamonds, because... Diamonds are a girl's best friend, except I'm not a girl, so that makes no sense. Diamonds are my worst enemy. They killed my parents. No, they didn't do that either. God, I'm just lying through my teeth now. Actually, let's make our way back to our camp. Slowly but surely. Maybe we will connect with that cave that we came in on. Maybe we'll find some diamonds. I don't know. It's just, I know we didn't really do any strip mining last time. Not any real strip mining, so... This is the real Minecraft experience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when they update to 1.31, uh, it will be the real Minecraft experience, because you'll get, be getting experience points as well. Ooh, I don't like this. Usually you find redstone around lava. At least that's my uh, experience, so... Oh, yeah, see? Lava, what'd I tell ya? <laughs> right below some redstone. Perfect. More lava. That was a bad idea. Why did I do that? Because I'm dumb. Because I'm stupid. No, because I wanted to break up into this chamber, actually. But yeah, that was really dumb of me. Oh my god, I can't believe how dumb that was. Dig- Oh, there's a lava pool. Let's dig straight up. Wow. <laughs> I... Yeah. I should lose. Like, I should get punished for that. <laughs> Even though I didn't dig into the lava, I should still get punished for that. Should be like a magma cube just waiting for me because I did that. He'll burn me to death too. Never actually beaten a lava cube because I've just run from them in fear. Because it's like, oh! Well, you're a slime. Oh! You're a burning slime! Well, I've died from slimes before just because if you don't take them on carefully, you can end up losing track of them, and soon you'll be swarmed, and it'll be like the velociraptors in, what was it, Jurassic Park 3 at the beginning of the movie, when they swarm the, oh god, the, I, I hate that part, when they swarm the little girl. Oh, that was, that's terrible. It's also one of the only parts of the movies I remember, but, <laughs> I think that was Jurassic Park 3. It might have been too. I'm pretty sure it was 3, though. That was terrible, though. It was very good. It was very... I think well done, because I think it was terrible, but... It was still terrible. It was just like, oh, I'm gonna go play with the dinosaurs, Daddy. Oh, you're never gonna see me again. <laughs> oh. Like, they don't. They just... <laughs> it's just like, honey, where'd you go? Oh, shit, there's Velociraptors. Well... I'm thinking we can guess where what happened to her now. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stop harping on that, because I'm probably the last person that should ever talk about Jurassic Park. I couldn't... I was a child when I went to go see... Okay, this is a true story. I was a child when I went to go see Jurassic Park 1 in theaters. I begged my mom to bring me to it, and she's like, God, okay. And I kind of don't like scary movies. And I know Jurassic Park isn't a scary movie per se, but when you're a child, when it's first come out, yes, it kind of is. And it freaked me the hell out. Especially that bit with the guy that hid in the porter potty and then the T-Rex came up and just... Nom. <laughs> oh, I, I hate and love that part. Oh, but yeah. I ended up... uh wanting to leave before the movie was even half over, I think. I just, I didn't even know what it was about. I just wanted to see dinosaurs. And I saw dinosaurs. 
and I was I was freaked out by dinosaurs. And scarred me for life. No, it didn't scar me for life. Uh, my mom was like, "No, you begged and pleaded to get into this movie with me. Uh, no, you can you can sit through it." So I took her coat, hid hid it, hid my head under the coat, and did not see a one one more bit of that movie. Heard it all, but I didn't see a bit of it. Oh, cool! We broke in, broke on, broke on through to the other side. Cool. By the way, actually, I can tell you guys, um, since I was telling you guys about William Blake a little earlier, that uh, song "Break On Through to the Other Side" is a reference by the Doors to William Blake. <laughs> uh, I mean, their their uh, their their name, the Doors, actually comes from one of his poems. Don't tell, ask me which one, because I can't remember it, because I'm not a Doors aficionado. Because I, I actually don't really care for the Doors, but regardless, yeah, the Doors into some pretty awesome poets, so... If you like the doors, you should like William Blake. <laughs> oh. I had a paper on him. It was really good. I, and I don't mean, like, the paper was really good. I mean, the process of writing the paper was really good. I had a lot of fun with that class. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to set myself up like, Oh my god, I was such a good writer. My paper was the best paper ever. No, like... I had a lot of fun actually writing that paper, and usually I just drag my ass with papers, so... Yeah. It was... it was... it was fun. <laughs> Why am I talking about papers? I've, I've gotta go back to school in a month! I don't want to! But at the same time I do, because it actually means I get to do something again. God, I haven't found a job all summer. Ugh, oh, it's terrible. I actually need a new job, too. Well, I might be getting one uh, towards the end of the summer, because I might be going back to one of my old jobs, because the boss has someone leaving, pro presumably to go back to school. And I'm like, well, I commute. I can work for you. And she's like, well, okay, just tell me your schedule, and we'll work something out. Well, that's what I was taking from her demeanor and such. I am not sure whether she was actually like, oh, well, we'll just work something out, or not. That's what I'm hoping. Alright, so if we actually just go straight up, we should pop, like, we should pop out, like, right in our basement. So I'm going to do that. Well, we found another cave. Oh, hello, we found another cave. <laughs> oh, well, it's somewhere we've been before, so I'm not too worried. Really? Okay, that zombie's getting close. Now I am a little worried. <laughs> Come on. At least we know there's no huge lava pools right under our house, so we can just tunnel right down. Which is awesome. Straight on up. Come on. Oh, we've got even farther to go. Come on, we're like... I can almost touch it! Gah! Let me out! I don't want to be cask of amontillado'd anymore. Well, I guess I would have to be using bricks to be cask of amontillado'd, wouldn't I? Oh, perfect! We're right near the edge. Don't stop. Me, because I'm close to the edge. Oh, that actually, wait a minute. That is perfect. That is, oh my god, that is, <laughs> that is perfect. That is right in the corner of our house. Oh my god. We can just, like, tunnel down, lay down some ladder, have a nice access hole. That is... Oh my god, that's fantastic. Alright. Make more iron! You can come with me. 
All right, so. Hmm. We cannot do geothermal energy right yet, because we do not have enough resources, I don't think. But, how about wind? Maybe that does a lot of energy. Or we could do solar. Uh, let's see, we need solar panel. I'm thinking wind for right now, just because it's a bit cheaper. Uh, did we, oh, we, didn't pick any, we didn't pick up any gold, though. Uh, but we're, that's what we really need. Oh well. Does this give us two uh, iron dust? I think it does. Come on. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Just wanted to check that quick. Alright. Well, before we do that, though, we should probably make a roof. Because what I want to do... I'm going to just talk to you guys for a second before I go, because I think I'm, I'm done with this episode. What I want to do is I want to make a modular design. Like, I want to make... Oh, shoot. I want to make houses... Oh, crap, we need food. One second. God, of course I need food. <laughs> oh, wait. Four. Bread will do. Bread will do. Wait, where did I get bread from? I don't remember making crops. Or where did I get wheat from? I mean... Maybe they found it underground or something. I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember. Alright, but anyway, first thing we want to do is we want to build a roof for our house. What I want to do is I want to make sort of a modular design so that we have nice 10 by 10 rooms and each room will be will serve a different purpose and we can put them wherever we want like we can we don't have to put them right next to each other but we can connect them with passageways and rail systems so we could pretty much just have a passageway run from there to a geothermal module, which we'll put right up, right up here. And we'll take care of that that way. Um, one second. I, I want to actually plug that. Well, not plug it, because I don't want to get rid of the, the magma cube at the top. Not the magma cube, that's an enemy. No, I don't want to get rid of the lava source at the top, but I do want to cordon it off. Uh, let's take eight. So it looks all nice and fancy. I do want to cordon it off so that I do not accidentally run into it because I'm being a dumb. Because it's, it's, it's not really... It's not small, but it's not... It, it's containable. Alright, so... Yeah, see? I just want to do this. Like we do with the lava leaks underground. Oh, shoot! Crap, 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 crap. Run, run, towards the water. Oh, well, we're not burning anymore, never mind. <laughs> I guess we didn't actually touch the lava enough for it to damage us, just enough to set us on fire. But yeah, we'll have this nice little lava well right here. We'll put a a uh, pump on top, a tank on top of that, and we'll pump it into other tanks, and then we'll pump it back when we need it for geothermal energy. We can pump it all over the complex of modular buildings. It'll be crazy. It'll be fantastic. But mostly crazy. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We should probably build another access door. So we can just go out the back. Uh oh, I hear frogs. Is it getting near nighttime? Ah, uh, yes, it is. Crap. Come on. Can't leave that open too long. Come on, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Hurry. 
I mean, it's not like an army of creepers is going to come in or something. All right, let's put it on me. No. God damn it. Style has to match. No, god damn it. The style has to match. All right, do we put it in like, like so? Yes, there we go. I want it to be flat. I don't want it jutting out like an ugly piece of something that juts out. All right, so I will see you guys next time on Tech It Out with me, Oxfu. And, well, I'll probably have a roof built by then. <laughs> Let's just say that. All right, see you guys next time. Take it easy.